everyone? April 3rd, 2024. Calm before the storm. Calm before the winter storm. Again. What is going on here? Well, we do have potential for maybe another six to eight inches of snow. I think that would be amazing. But right now, for the calm before the storm, I want you guys to see how fast this other foot of snow melted. Two days. Look at gone. See ya. Clip. When we get to the other side of the lake, though, there will be a lot more snow. But still, it's just it's amazing to me how, how quickly everything goes here. It goes so fast, it's like a buffet at a sumo, sumo wrestling competition. It's just gone. Nothing left. Absolutely beautiful day though. Look at the temperature. Almost 60 degrees. Pretty remarkable. It's always, always a pleasure for me to get to do these videos for you guys. You guys bring a lot of joy and goodness into my heart. So thank you, thank you for that. And even next week, we got some more snow coming next week. Like, what's going on? We got a really late start to the season, though. We sure did. But I am looking forward to... Uh, These next couple little snowstorms, especially this next one, which is supposed to start tomorrow. I even changed my deep cleaning for my teeth appointment because it, it, it was supposed to be tomorrow at like 2 p.m., pretty close to when it's supposed to start snowing. So I don't want to miss those first snowflakes, so I postponed my appointment. And I'm scared to go in, so I'm glad I did it. I hate the dentist, not personally, just the whole experience. Dennis, he seems like a nice guy. He follows the channel. But. Hopefully he'll be extra nice and extra gentle. Hopefully they have that nitrous stuff there to calm me down. Isn't it remarkable though? This was covered in snow just two days ago. Covered. And look at that beautiful view, my gosh. tall mountain in the back peeking out that's San Gorgonio it's the tallest tallest peak in Southern California and it also is part of the furthest vantage point in all of North America believe it or not 
from the top of San Gorgonio, you can see further than anywhere in North America. You can see Mount Whitney, which is like 190 something miles. Of course, on a very clear day, but how cool is that? All right, we're about to enter Fonskin. nice warm temperatures now it says 56 over here but it's still really nice and warm I love it look at all this water oh it's so great Downtown. Alright. And our wonderful, my favorite tributary, Grout Creek, flowing nicely, adding more beautiful water to the lake. I mean, these little tiny storms do add up. They do add up. It's so crazy seeing water right here to the left. Just right on the other side. Wow. It's been years since we've seen that, that type of water over here. So, of course, at the end of last season, that's when we started seeing it. But this, I mean, I haven't checked the lake levels recently. So, it's possible that it's around six or six feet or so. So those people are going to go sledding where you're not supposed to trespass because that's the eagle habitat. Of course, we want you guys to have fun. Come up here and sled and stuff, but like, I don't know. Uh, whenever I see little kids, though, it's like, trust me, I know how I felt as a kid coming up here. Don't tell me I can't sled. Don't you dare tell me I can't sled. So I'm gonna sled like a champ. But again, it's just amazing how quickly this snow is melting. I, remember guys, it is springtime. The angle of the sun is higher. So you're going to get more direct sunlight and more radiational heating as well. And it's going to, the snow is going to succumb to it it's quicker. Look at how pretty that is, man. has a nice lake view and lake ride.
Now you can start to see a little more snow on the side of the road as we start entering the snowiest part of Big Bear. Again, it's, it's melting quickly. Temperature did drop down to 53 degrees though. Someone took out something over here. Because the power's been completely out. Look. Hey there, Mr. Light. Lazy, lazy light. All right, this is the Big Bear Dam we're driving over right now. Imagine how many famous people have driven right here, right where we're at right now. Since back in the 20s and 30s. Presidents, leaders of other countries, all your favorite athletes probably at some point. part of Big Bear. It's a clear difference from the other side of the lake, right? getting fixed. Beautiful. B-E-A beautiful. coming into town it's super super easy not much in the way of any uh, road issues other than those couple potholes but you're not gonna have to worry about ice and whatnot 
right now. However, let's say you do come up here tonight. There's some big potholes. Before it starts snowing tomorrow, some more big potholes. Keep in mind, a lot of this snow that melts into the road once we get down to our freezing temperatures, what doesn't evaporate is gonna turn into black ice. So that's what you have to be careful of. That's why I always suggest you guys come up here um, when uh, our temperatures are typically above freezing. So usually anytime after 10.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. until about 4 p.m., 5 p.m., just to play it safe. I wanna make sure you guys get here in one piece. I know coming up at, at that time can be a, a pain in the butt because of other traffic and stuff, but trust me, your safety is worth it. I used to come up here like six in the morning, five, six in the morning. Parkers. All right. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Help your boy out. I'd appreciate it. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Check out all the merch that we have. Support the channel like that. Or there's ways in the description of each each video to send little donations, which are all hugely helpful as well. So thank you guys. It is a lot of effort I put into this. I would do it no matter what. But again, everything helps. some pretty massive potholes around here. So yeah, I, I predict our resorts are only going to be open for another week or so. So you guys get up here and get your rentals and get boards on, on Big Bear Boulevard. The description's in the comment section and the description of the video, all their information. Go to get boards, save some money, get some good quality product, super quality staff, knowledgeable, caring. Um, it's an all around great experience. And uh, if you are going to come skiing, go to getboards.com and save yourself on your live tickets. But you have to order your tickets 72 hours in advance of when you plan on going through getboards.com. And you will save a nice little chunk. Again, anything I can do to help you guys save a buck here, a buck there, it will add up. It definitely will add up. This is where you can take your kids to go sledding. To, it's a paid to go sledding area. It's called the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. I think it's about 45 bucks for the day per person. But they have other stuff you can do there as well. Like the roller coaster, which is called the uh, gold, the gold mine, or the, uh, man, the gold rush. <laughs> I can't remember. But uh, the gold something. It's a lot of fun. 20 bucks a person per ride. So if you want to go a few times, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you, man. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go through the village and end right after we shoot through the village. 
we will be done at that point. I so wish we had an In-N-Out burger up here, guys. I would be, I'd probably be eating there every day. It's always been my, my favorite fast food joint. Himalayan Indian food. I love it. I love it. Been a little bit more on the broker side lately, so I haven't been eating there as much, but it's okay. Every time I get to, I'm very grateful. Look at those cute kids. Oh, so adorable. dog's getting us getting a talking to man guy's gonna like rip the dog's head off jeez louise dog's like dad what did i do i'm just trying to love and protect you why you gotta be so angry with me oh it smells so good i don't know what restaurant i'm smelling but it smells really good i'm digging it All right, guys, once again, thank you for everything. We got some snow coming tomorrow. Another winter storm warning. This might be the most winter storm warning since I've lived here in one season, which is kind of cool. But they haven't really been anything too special. But uh, yeah, come back and enjoy. We'll have some more videos up tomorrow. We'll have the live feed going as soon as it starts snowing. The time lapse will be going. Just come enjoy it with me. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Peace out, guys. Bye.